at a very basic level, um, science is done by human beings, um, by scientists, and humans have human rights, and they have uh, civil rights too. Um, and so when we do science, um, we have to realize how it connects and affects uh, our fellow human beings. In my work in West Africa, science has been very critical in protecting vast forest ecosystems in Liberia, in addressing pollutions of agricultural companies dumping tons of agrochemicals in, in, in river systems. It's been very important to to address the rights of indigenous people over their land that has been taken away by transnational cooperation. So science has been a very valuable tool. Science can be used to um, sometimes harm um, if it is if it is not used carefully, if it is used in a way that only um, perpetuates systems of power. But in many ways, science can be used for good. We're here at the AAAS conference and it's really clear we have all these case studies of um, vulnerable communities who are able to connect expertise, technical expertise, agronomy, um, chemistry, physics, using all that technical expertise to amplify the voices of community members, to advocate for the kind of development or investment that they think of as important. I don't think a lot of scientists realize that there is, and physicists in particular know that there is a right to science and to benefit from scientific progress. And so that's where I see a lot of what I do as an administrator for a scientific nonprofit organization. Making our community aware that there is that connection and that physics and human rights are not separate and showing our international community, showing our members, showing fellow physicists, um, what the physics community has done to advance human rights and stand up for human rights and to help their fellow scientists who have been at risk. I'm looking at uh, the partnerships that are now starting to develop between uh, humanitarian relief organizations and human rights organizations uh, that are increasingly uh, relying on new digital technologies uh, interested in big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, but also um, you know, s uh, geospatial sciences, including uh, remote sensing, um, satellite imagery. You also see this in various kinds of uh, sound science right now. Um, and increasingly, I think uh, these partnerships are focusing on solving uh, not just uh, human rights problems in particular, but, but social problems more generally. In my experience in the past five to 10 years, I would say all those disciplines are coming together. And it's really an advantage because we can hear from the people who are potentially affected and um, use the science to support this. Um, and having those disciplines work together, uh, I think is, we're kind of, you know, on the rising limb of that right now, and it's been a real advantage.